What is going on, my reefing familia? Hello, bonjour, hola, buongiorno, wherever you're watching from. Greetings from the Frag Box here in our store, Toronto, Ontario. I'm going to talk to you today about snails. What kind of snails? Hmm, good question. I'm going to talk to you about turbo snails. Why? Why turbo snails? They are very popular in the reef keeping hobby. One of, uh, I'm going to say the most popular actually, right Tia? You agree? Tia's over here behind me working away on some uh, some crazy new, crazy rock work. She's making a new scape, but today is not about Tia or rock work. That can be tomorrow. Today is about turbo snails. I think they're, pro yeah, they're gonna, I'm gonna say they're the most popular and for good reason. These are very powerful members of your cleanup crew. And I think that's what makes them so extremely popular. I think I have a few different types here in this tank I can show you. This is kind of one over here. And then here's a smaller one. And I know I have a big bulldozer, big, big, big one somewhere. Oh, there's another one. So I keep a few in every tank. Our general rule here in the shop when people ask how many turbos, how many snails, uh, I think it's one for every five gallons. Why? Because these will quickly eliminate large amounts of nuisance algae, especially hair algae. If you're dealing with green hair algae, not if it gets too long. If you're past half an inch, an inch, you may need to start uh, thinking about removing it manually. But when it's shorter, I keep lots of snails in every single reef tank that I keep because they're just great at eating algae. That's what they do. Very powerful algae eater. Um, most of ours come from, I think these are all from Mexico. That's where they get their name, Mexican turbo snail. I'm trying to find the other large one I have in here. Uh, no, we'll just give this guy some show time for today. Really essential part of any cleanup crew. I think every tank should have them. If your tank's smaller, obviously try and find some smaller ones. And what else can I tell you? Mostly nocturnal. So you don't see them during the day. They come out mostly at night with the exception of this guy here. I guess he's hanging out. He is going against the norm. You do it, buddy. You don't let any of those snail rules apply to you. They can flip themselves over, which is really nice. Some snails can't. Trochus can. Astria cannot, so that's a nice feature. They will uh, right themselves and they can survive for a long time out of water because of this, uh, I can't remember the name of the flap. What's the name of the flap to you? We just saw this, we were talking about this yesterday. Ocula blah 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 something. Anyways, they have this flap so they can actually close, hello Mr. Cleaner Shrimp, and survive a perculum, yeah, they can survive out of the water. Um, they'll usually last a couple years in tanks. They don't like hot temperatures. So if your tank runs hot, it's an easy way to kill them. 76, 77 is what we keep most of our tanks at. Some wrasses will eat them. So this yellow chorus wrasse is very well behaved, Mr. Yellow over here. But I've seen in other systems here in the store, I've seen yellow chorus, um, green chorus, stuff from the like uh, Christmas wrasses. I think it's called Heliochorus family. They might um, flip them over and eat them just for fun. They end up becoming a snack. Okay, the one downside about these things, they can get quite large. Oh, there he is, hiding in plain sight, right underneath the rock. You see quite a large one right there. Maybe I can grab him just to show you how big he is. Some of them get, you know, as big as, um, as big as golf balls. Oh, sorry, buddy. We're gonna make you YouTube famous now. Come here. Oh, very blurry camera. There he is. Ah, I would say that's on the medium size. I've seen, I've seen much larger than that. It's uh, decent size, but they don't care about things that are in their way. These guys are on an algae eating mission and the fact that your coral frag is in the way, he doesn't give a damn. So what they do is they bulldoze. They will just go straight through stuff. So if stuff is not glued down secure, securely in your tank, then they will, um, or they can, they have the, um, they have the possibility of moving corals around, even moving some rock work. If the rock isn't 100% secure they can move some of your rock work in your tank so we call them bulldozers but they're still worth adding to your tank oh you know what sorry man i forgot that you're a living animal and creature let me put you back in there they're still even with that in mind they're still worth adding to your tank because like i said pound for pound when it comes to algae eating power i don't think um, it gets much better than these for the turbo snails they run usually i don't know depends where you live uh, up here they're like four to six dollars up in canada we don't live anywhere near Mexico, so they are expensive. They got to come here quite fast on a plane. And yeah, if you're looking for a very, not very, well, I would say basically essential member of your cleanup crew, look for turbo snails, Mexican turbos. Our rule is usually one for every four to five gallons. This is a 90 gallon tank. You do the math, you know, um, but it's good to have a mix too. So we have, we have some Tectus, some Trochus, some Astria, 
we have cowries, we have three different types of conches because I want super, super clean sand. And I can do a video talking about keeping sand clean and all the other different types of snails. But I think that's about it for today's video on Mexican turbo snails. If you guys got any questions, you know, you can always hit us up. I'm gonna try and mix it up and do more videos on um, inverts and stuff like that because I think that's a fun part about the hobby. If you like this video, you like the content, and you're not tired of my voice yet, give me that thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because we do a video here at Fragbox seven days a week. A video every single day of the week, almost like television. You come home from work, you flip it on. What's this goofy guy from Canada talking about today? And if it's not me talking about it, it's, uh, it's this one over here, Tia. She's very quiet today. She's at work. She's, she's in the zone. She's in the zone. She's making a beautiful rock work. Thanks for watching, guys, and tuning into this episode of Fragbox TV. TV.